Welcome back to Rain Code. We're going through the mystery labyrinth. Let's see, what is the question? Uh, how did the how doctor, did the plan, doctor to plan to escape Kanai War? That's good. That is a good question. Good question. So we have like terrorist here. bombing, blackouts, or swapping places. I think this may have been what was in those emails that just randomly scrolled across our screen at high speed. Yeah, it would have been really nice if it would have let me turn off auto to read them. Can we, can we like re can like we like reread those in like a menu or something? Hmm, glossary maybe. No. Let's see what does this illusion case have? Case files, maybe? Okay, we can't do anything with that one. Okay. What about the, uh, yeah, because one of them is the uh, email thing, right? Yeah, so I'm looking over doctor's notes. And storage key, missing file, photo. Death threat. Doctor's email records. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you won't actually let me read them. Oh, no, I can, right? Yeah, I was about to say, you can read them. Yeah, it's just finicky. No, that's not what I want. We have trouble. Someone discovered our deal. You should go into hiding for the time being. Oh, one second. Here's it's time to call it quits. Probably enough from this already. It's too dangerous to leak research and confidential information any longer. We shall fully withdraw from here. With this money, I will fund my new research. Are the rumors true? You intend to leave Kanai Ward, Doctor? Don't tell me you're plotting to take the research and run. You know this, but you have nowhere to go. What's the matter, Doctor? Are you ignoring me? I will not permit any betrayal. I've told you before. But you have nowhere to run, prepare your- Yeah, I feel like I think I know who that is. That might be Hell Smile. Good, good. We- I think we have to try each one. Hmm. Blackout, airlock, decontamination, so we have to use the solution key to open the door. So we get the same four of them every time for each door. Yeah, I don't know if it matters, but I'm gonna look at each one. Yes, yeah, we could try it and see. Okay, so if it doesn't work, then it just knocks us back. Yeah, we take damage, which is this is bad. This isn't the right solution key. Calm down, master. And check the contents of each solution key. So you should give us any. Only point. the doctor knew the details of the plan, so it should be in his notes. All right, so we have to read his notes, which is not as the same as the emails. I think it's near the bottom, though. Doctor's notes. Yeah, there's nothing we can get out of them. Other than yeah, the hang on a, sec. a notebook found on the doctor's desk. Oh, I personal. get it. Splash with of a person being slapped. Okay, so he was planning on uh, having a replacement. Yep, there we he go. Was trying, he was trying to fake something in order to leave. So it was swapping places. Uh, doctor's notes, yep. Okay. Oh, the door actually opened. I knew I could let Yuma handle it. Are you sure you aren't a phantom?
So the yeah, doctor yeah, yeah. tried to swap places with someone else to escape from Amaterasu. The notes he left behind in the lab hinted at his plan. You mean the diagram with the sulfuric acid being poured on someone? Yeah, he was going to swap places with a corpse, then melt it with acid. He wanted to disfigure it beyond recognition. That's how he planned to fake his own death. At the very least, it'd buy him enough time to escape Kanai Ward. Or so he thought. Wow! Melting a corpse with sulfuric acid? Yay! So cool and grotesque! So who was the substitute supposed to be? Maybe... the hitman. The doctor was under surveillance by Amaterasu, but he was still looking for a chance to escape. When he learned a hitman was after him, he figured his chance had arrived. The doctor was hoping to use the security system to kill the hitman and use the body as a decoy. Now that I think about it, the doctor did seem to be waiting for the hitman to arrive. The hitman hasn't arrived yet. When will he show up? Don't tell me this so-called first-rate hitman was captured by peacekeepers. But the hitman never did show up. That's why the doctor had a sudden change of plans. What if the doctor's the one that left? And stabbed. It's possible. And that was the act he put on by asking you, who are you? Perhaps that was a trap to lure you in, Yuma. He was trying to lure Master? He considered taking advantage of the detectives, since the hitman never showed up. So if he called for help, he would charge into the lab, not knowing anything about the security system. And thereby, acquire the corpse he needed as his decoy. That seems overly complicated. Like those guys who overthink asking girls out? Well, he couldn't have used another researcher. Someone would have noticed their absence. He needed visitors. People from outside to pull it off. So if I didn't know about the security and had rushed into the lab... You'd be a super sexy skeleton right now. Shinigami, no. Aww, so close! You want that? But the doctor's plan failed, and he actually got boom killed by the hitman. I get what he was trying to do, but what about the impossible murder? Assuming the attack on the doctor was just an act when we saw him through the intercom, we at least know for sure the real attack hadn't happened yet. In other words, the culprit entered the lab after that exchange. So the problem is, when did they actually enter? Hmm. After... no... Now everyone blind. Where are we? This place is a real mystery. Then again, I suppose that checks out. Huh? Shinigami? Yeah! Master! This looks like an important turning point! So, is that your final answer? I haven't said anything yet! Is this Jeopardy? Robert entered the lab before Ami Pal. Ami Pal. Okay. Master, you need to narrow down the timing for when the culprit got inside. Now then, here's our fateful fork in the road. It's life or death. 
We are at the crossroads of mystery and solution! This earth-shattering choice may be your last. Now, Master, which one will you choose? I don't think so. I think the, uh, you don't, you're not gonna let me say it, are you? Well, but, but the thing is, he had to have entered the lab before Amapal, because I think Amapal... The, yeah, I think the doctor kicked Amapal. Maybe? I'm wondering if the doctor could have... Mm, did we leave at all after we found the body? Hmm. What do you mean, did we leave at all? Before, after, hmm, trying to think of how much opening would we have between when Amapal got in there. Uh, not much, considering we immediately went in after Amapal opened the door. The only thing, the only time we had was when Amapal was on the ground. Which is when supposedly whoever was in there went back out and snuck their way into the air duct system. I or feel like the obvious is obvious. yes, but this this one's been throwing us for a loop. Eh, yeah, try it. I just wanna see it. Oh fuck you, the one time. The one time I don't trust you. Fine. That means yes, he was in there before, okay. When I directed Amapel to go into the doctor's lab, he already had a knife stuck in him. Which means he was murdered before Amapel entered the doctor's lab! Your answer? Is correct! Congratulations, Master! Would you like to double down? What are you talking about? Anyway, let's keep going. Little by little, we're narrowing down when the culprit entered. Yeah, but we still don't know how yet. It had to be between when we spoke to the doctor over the intercom and when Amapel entered his lab. During that time, the culprit entered the doctor's lab and murdered him. So the most likely time would be when you went to borrow Amapel, Master. There you go. The culprit had to have entered the lab then. But Fubuki waited at the front chamber while Desuhiko and I went to borrow Amapel. She said no one entered or left the lab. She's also a ditz. Right. Unless she tried turning back time, but she would have said something about that. If I could turn back time. Back to this room again. Huh? We're back on the original path. Maybe you're supposed to try opening that door now. I'm sure that from here on out, it's not just about when, but also how the culprit got in. Yuma, there's no need to push yourself if things get too hard. The low god, no, man. I can do it. I'm going to solve it. We're not getting stuck in here because you're lazy. I know what he's doing. He's testing. He's testing him out. The map. This is a map of the critical lab. So we have to determine where the culprit was before the murder. We'll have to solve them one at a time. Let's start with this mystery. If we know where the culprit was before they got in, this route will be clear too. Do you know where, Yuma? Uh... Hmm. Where was the culprit before the crime was committed? Okay, there's the panel room. Would have been the There's the panel room, that's the gas chamber, and then the hallway. 
The only thing that would make sense is we know that the, there were air vents in the hallway where he could have hidden beforehand, but he still would have had to have, go, have gone through the gas chamber and the panel room. However, the other thing is the panel room is, at is the very not end. quite... Well, yeah, but the from... thing is, how the hell did he get through the gas chamber in that scenario? Yeah, that's the question, is how does he get through the gas chamber? Because well, there were the grates the in the, I think, in the first room. Uh, hold on, can I... In the first one, there were grates, but in the third one, they were not. They were sealed. And then, obviously, he couldn't have just been sitting in the gas room. I thought it was that the long hallway was the gas room. No, the long hallway was the initial room where the there were the vents that helped it so that the gas didn't escape okay. into the main facility. Then the gas room, then the panel room. He could have hid so, in the uh, in the hallway. That then... that's the only that's the only part where he could have hidden. Yeah, because if he, he couldn't have hidden in the gas room because it's all gas chambers and he, he even if he doesn't breathe it, it can be absorbed through the skin. Here. Culprit must have been here. Right? Yeah, we were right. Yay, it opened! After the exchange on the intercom, given there was always a detective at the front chamber, when we went to borrow Amapel, the culprit had to have already made their way inside. But the airlock is the only location that isn't affected by the security system. There. The culprit had to be inside that decontamination device before committing the crime. Wait a minute. So here, here's, a, here's an idea. So if he was sitting in there the whole time, maybe when Amapal got knocked over, that wasn't somebody leaving. That was somebody going in, did the stabbing, and then immediately left. That would have made did we sense. See the, did we see the body before Amapal got knocked over? No. So it would have made sense he would have stepped down because where Amapau's, where the footprint is only makes sense if you're climbing down, not if you're kicking it. Mm. Not unless you're kicking from the top. Mm. All right, well, let's go through the door and figure this shit out. But I thought he was just hiding in there to avoid being spotted after the crime. So you think back. the culprit was in there before the crime too? Yeah. The culprit was waiting for their chance. But we had no idea when we sent Amapel into the airlock. And from there, Yuma, you guided Amapel to the doctor's lab. So the culprit entered the doctor's lab before then? How would that be possible? Only Amapel could get past security, right? Yeah, that's the next big question. We didn't see a second Amapal in there, did we? Maybe the culprit no. used another Amapal unit. No, the researcher mentioned there was only one functioning Amapal. Which means the Amapal Yuma controlled was the only one that could get past security. So the culprit must have taken advantage of Master's Amapal to get into the doctor's lab. Yeah, that's the only way. But how did they use it? There's no solving the doctor's murder until we figure that out. Well, I have an idea. Will you hear me out? What is it? How about giving up? I'm getting tired. For the love of God. Nope, motion denied. Another fork in the road? Mm. Such a complicated mystery labyrinth. Oh, the last one's gonna be a fucking nightmare, too. We figured this one out, potentially. You. Beyond each problem Shut lies up, the yeah. truth. We're definitely getting closer to the heart of this mystery. Used him as a weapon, as a shield, or neither. He didn't use him as either of those. I think 
our theory is right. Do you think neither is really the right answer? Given the process of elimination, that must be it. Amapel's hands aren't designed to hold anything, so it couldn't use the knife to murder the doctor. Which means Amapel wasn't the murder weapon. And the culprit couldn't have used it as a shield. It can't neutralize the toxic gas, and the high voltage shock would destroy it. So then, how did the culprit use Amapel? I think we'll find out if we continue down this path. Or not. Come on, Master! Huh? No, uh, I guess that trick. was the wrong answer. I don't feel like it was. I feel like this is a trick. So you were closer. Are we? Yeah, we're right back where we need to be. We're huh? right back on the back path. At the start. We've been here before. It looks like we've been brought back. But the door we opened earlier is closed again. Why's that? Yeah, I wonder why. Huh? Even the question is the same. Does that mean we gotta do it all over again? Well, the logic is still sound. There's no other hiding spot for the culprit besides the airlock. There's a trick here. So you want to choose the same answer and keep going? No, it's there. If you do, you'll just repeat the whole process again. We'll just be brought back here if we can't figure out how did the culprit use Amapau. And I refuse to walk any more than I have to. Hey, don't sit down! What should I do? Stand up! Stand up right now! I wanted to see if she Stop could make him it. float. Leave me alone. Well, in here, she's a physical if form. If you want me to leave you alone, then help my useless master out! <sighs> fine. Just one thing, then. We're back at... Where was the culprit before the crime? Because you're stuck at... How did the culprit use Amapau? With that in mind... These two questions are connected. Connected? Wait Both a minute. the culprit's location and how Amapal was used? Was he inside the Amapal units? That's so dumb. It is. And but it's that's ridiculous. also really Are we is it gonna be a midget? No. Help no, well th more. think about it this way. More, more, more. We know we know that Amapal can is, is shielded well we know there's only one technically functioning amapal unit we also know that amapal is shielded from the poison so hypothetically since there are other amapal bodies would those bodies be sealed tight enough where if somebody got inside the shell they could get through the poison gas and get into the room hmm the only thing that would does that mean we were electrocuting him a few times? Panel room. Were we frying Well, it would only be the panel room, and we know that it can't be shielded against the panel stuff, but we also know that technically somebody could get by that if they were able to float over the panels, because there's two zones in that room that you won't get shocked at if you're standing on it, that'd be at one either side. So, <laughs> I don't know. This is definitely very, this is definitely kind of a conundrum one. It's, I'm just keep, laughing because keep, keep you're figuring this out and I'm looking at what's going on on the screen. Yes, I know. She's giving him a very vigorous scalp massage. I have to take a dump. <laughs> Do you want me to pause it? Fine. I will be back from the porta potty in a minute. The culprit was hiding in the airlock where you also left the robot, right? Oh, yeah, but I know. At that moment, right. only the culprit and Amapa were there. So maybe the culprit did something. Climbed into Amapel. The culprit did something to Amapel? Clues are always there. Right under your nose. It's a detective's job to notice them. He climbed... Yeah, so we... Did you we notice anything strange back then? 
Any tiny detail? Try to remember. Something strange. So he hey! Now that you mention it, back then... There was the shoe print on my pal. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. So this is what I'm a pal sees. It's like the cockpit of a mecha. Whoa, what was that? Did it break already? I thought it was state of the art. That makes sense. No, it's all right. It's stabilized. That's why we have there that There was a moment when the camera stopped functioning while it was controlling Amapel. It returned to normal pretty quick, but maybe... See? I told you it was right under your nose. You don't need any additional help from me, right? That was a clue to help solve this mystery? Actually, everything in this world is a key to solving mysteries. You just haven't noticed them. Perhaps there is more you're overlooking. Was there anything else unusual? Something unusual? Something I missed? Hmm, anything else? It's not like Amapel's camera showed the culprit. No. Wait, that's it! But there was a footprint. Huh? Now that I think about it, wasn't that strange? The culprit must have gotten ahead of Amapel, but why didn't they ever show up on the camera? If the culprit went past Amapel to enter the doctor's lab, they would have been spotted for sure. Now that you mention it... But nobody showed up on camera. How did the culprit manage to pull that off? How can you move from the airlock to the doctor's lab without appearing even once on Amapel's camera? Hey, aren't you just adding another mystery? No. All the pieces are here. Huh? Yuma, the mysteries you face now can be solved with a single answer. A single answer? Sheesh. I talk too much. do now it's a pandora's box of mysteries L let's stay calm and think about it there's plenty of time or not i'll keep what reading happened? somebody get AIDS? you wrap things up so he climbed what i'm thinking he did is he climbed down in the air duct because remember we had that glitch inside the air lock room he climbed down uh. in the air duct in that room and got into alma pow which is why there was the glitch Maybe. That would have meant that he would have had to have been like Master, a midget, though. All it takes is one answer to solve these mysteries. Use those weak brain cells of yours and think! Culprit's location. Amapel's usage. It's no function. Why didn't the culprit appear on camera? All this can be solved with just one answer? Yeah, the only one that makes sense is that, yeah, I'm about the, the culprit was inside the robot. Or behind it. It's giving us the option. I'll say, I'll say inside of it because behind it wouldn't make sense. It wasn't inside. I think it was behind. All right. He was nope. sitting on on, on a pa really he was on top of his head. Well, he did step Apparently. onto the head, but was he sitting there the entire time? I mean, Apparently. yeah, you could have sat on top of Oma Pal's head. Remember the shape. As transportation. Road on Amapel's head, using it as a method of transportation. Okay. 
Okay. The door opened. With every open door, it will be harder for you to turn back. Are you sure you want to keep going? We don't really have the much alternative. Is Absolutely. Death. I will find the truth no matter what. This is for the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Hmm. <sighs> So welcome back folks. If we missed anything, if you guys miss anything in the explanation, it's because we had an error in the recording. Culprit came out of the decontamination device. Then they jumped on Amapel's head. The disruption in the footage was from the impact. That's insane. Is it? I think it's fairly reasonable. Amapal can withstand up to a hundred kilograms of weight. So, someone riding on it shouldn't affect its functionality. The shoe print on Amapal's head wasn't caused by someone kicking it. It was left there from the culprit hopping on and off. After that, the culprit simply rode on it as it moved toward the doctor's lab. By doing so, the culprit was able to evade the camera and remain hidden as they made their way through the lab. You're right. If it's true, then it does solve all of the previous mysteries. <laughs> Imagining the culprit riding on a robot? That makes me laugh! But Yuma, have you not realized it? You're still missing something. One major mystery remains. <sighs> What's with that huge sign? The greatest mystery of this case should appear soon. Just the thought of it gets me feeling down. The hell just happened? This case's greatest mystery? This is the panel chamber. That means the doctor's lab is just beyond it. If we can get through here, we'll reach the goal, yeah? <sighs> is this the greatest mystery you mentioned? Uh, not exactly what I was envisioning. Well, this is the mystery to be solved, so let's clear it out. It's me. Into the room ahead of us. So before we answer this, guys, we'll answer it in the next episode.